Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome. My name is Wizations, as you well know. Um, and today we're going to be doing some more Satisfactory. Hopefully we're going to be doing um, some more Satisfactory in the sense of actually getting the base. One, of the, one more of the slightly more base items built, aka either rotors or the um, stators. No, not stators. I can't remember what they're called, but one of them built. <laughs> uh, modular frames, maybe. I think it was. Hello there, hello there, hello there. We've got our juggle four balls for ten seconds from Kanuki, which is a bit different start than usual. It's normally a three ball start. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Yeah. And then attempt five balls twice, and I'm already getting a little bit warm. So off comes the jumper. Immediately. Five ball attempt twice, twice. Are there going to be any more or not? <laughs> That's the true question. Whoa. I've got something in my eye. It's an eyelash. So, five balls. Attempted four times in total. Even with that little smack on the ceiling, I still managed to do it. Maybe seven or eight catches? Six or seven or something? That was not one. Two. Three. I need a separate cam for juggling this wider angle and su such. Four. That's what I need. <laughs> right. Let's get those ticked off. And then uh, let's get into the game. Oh, where did that yawn come from? Huh. Excuse me. So, I'm now in a very different place to usual. Let's just double check where I actually need to be. Excitedly for juggles and gaming. <laughs> gaming juggles. Then again, at the juggling conventions, there are juggling games. So, you know, we're like five ball endurance, seven ball endurance. There was even one where there was a nine ball endurance. I think two people took part in that one. And it was literally just whoever could throw and catch them all was the winner. Game of juggles. <laughs> And then there's uh, club gladiators, unicycle gladiators, um, Diablo in the box. Did I, I can't even get onto the Servanetic website in order to kick Servanetic support. Oh, I remember. We're still out in the middle of nowhere. I'd forgotten about this. Let's get out of here. This is not the way. Which way is the way? Do you know the way? I certainly don't know the way. Oh, game screen. Sorry. 
Ah, uh, I know what I'm doing. Switch the game? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'll remember to switch the game someday. Hello there, Nick. Hello there, Vengeance Aureliath. And hello there, Kanuki, so far. By the way. Right, I need to get back home. Somehow. Maybe down that way. So if we follow this along, we might get there. That was very unsatisfactory. Yes, it was. <laughs> nice play on words. Ooh. It's fine though, we fixed it. We fixed our mistake. Is it Doggo? Is it Doggo? Yes. Come on, Lizard. And now we defend you. If there is anything in our way, we kill it. Because we're going to get this lizard doggo home. Isn't that right? How is everyone today, by the way? Slightly to the left. Oh, don't tell me I have to go down a sheer drop. I do. Do I have any materials to do this with? I've got 38 concrete. Oof. But it is going to be the easiest way. Ugh. Oh, it's you panting. I didn't realize it, it panted. Right, that will do as a foundation start. I'm going to have to remove things as we go here. just because I don't have enough material. Need more pie. Well, we need more servanetic then for pie to 
the mob high. Servanetic doesn't want to work. Come on then, Doggo, of the lizard variety. Right. We're down on the level we need to be. Gotta be careful. Gotta get this lizard doggo home. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so let's make sure I plan my route accordingly. It's actually quite a long way away, isn't it? So what I'm going to want to do is actually go round to the side and down that one. Because this one's going to be a little more fiddly. And then I'm just going to have to go back up anyway. So I think I need to be going up there. Bomb. Oh, and now we're going to get spiders coming out, which are going to be a pain in the bottom. So much for being ready to kill anything. Oh, great. Spiders. I think it's better having the Xenobasha. I'm also not taking a risk with my health. Got far too far to go. If I die.
wrong one. Oh, great. Oh, I'm out of ammunition. What? I thought I had loads. Whoopsie daisy. All right, see you in a bash where it is. Oh, it's going to be a right complicated maze to get back. Stick to this wall. As best as we can. Oh, maybe not. Because this wall appears to stick rather harshly. There's a doggo. Right, okay. Come here, you. Don't you run away, run away from me. There we go. Let's improvise. <laughs> Come on, man. We got this. Oh, great. Charging battery. Charge complete. Oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, great, it's a big one of them. Right where I want to be. Ah, somehow I killed it very quickly there. I don't exactly know how. Right. So now what I want to do is get 
into this basin somehow. She can change your battery anytime she wants. <laughs> Ooh, uh. You got a thing for robots, have you? <laughs> Charging battery. <laughs> Into the valley we go. I have to say that was one heck of a long excursion. For me. That sounds like that, yes. Poison cloud. I've now got to try and find a safe route around the poison cloud. Ow. Poison Y, I suppose I could go along there. Good old lizard doggo. This is really not even terrain, is it? And again, I've got to go down. Hey, lizard doggo. Panting in my ear. Oh, auto save. Yeah, man. Yay, this is going to be another one back. And this makes three at the main hub, with one at the coal hub. Let's go a little faster.
I'm not going to let anything take my lizard doggo away from me now. It's my pet. Or oh, it's my pet. I just realised I don't have the path up still. Because I've had to take it down a few times because I kept running out of uh, concrete. I think the left side is the side I can get round. I still have my lizard doggo. Yeah, there's the path with a few bits missing. Just looking for a bit of concrete, of which there is not any. I know what I can do. Don't need this bit anymore. That'll probably give me enough. So look, there's four carriages that aren't full. Yet. Come now. Yes. We're so close. Yep, they're my friends still. I don't have room at all to do anything. Switch round to this window. I like turtles. Hello, Zoe. I'm probably pr pronouncing that wrong. It's just based on what Twitch says in the little brackets. I give the follow as well. How are you today? Come on, you three. Power slug already. Right, we are back. I'm going to have to dump some stuff. 
so that I can uh, pick up some items that will be needed for making things. Oh, I actually have some uh, hard drives I need to utilize. Only two, unfortunately. But two is better than none. not that either. I'll just go and put these in the workshop. So we don't have any flowers, petals or anything like that. We just have a little bit of wood. Plenty of those carapaces. We have some higher tier odds and sods. Um, along with some power cells, it seems. some ore in it, so we'll put some bauxite in there, some quartz, ah there's more higher tier stuff, we'll also put that in, and the power slug, cool, um, get rid of some of that cable, then I need to pick up some of this, <clears throat> So next on the list, wherever my big book has gone, there it is. Next on the list is going to be, oh, let's do Modular frames. Because I think we'd actually started trying to work that out, hadn't we? Yeah, we had. And it required 90 reinforced iron. Which is going to be interesting. The other option is we wait for these hard drives to finish cooking. And in the meantime, um, set up the next set of charging battery ramps, etc. Uh, belts, etc. Charge complete. Which it looks like I may have already done. Yeah, I think I've already set up the next set of 15 belts. 
Okay. So I guess what I need to do now is decide what goes in these 15. Hello Lucy, charging batteries are we? Yeah, my, my headset's been a bit funny today, I have to admit. actually have concrete coming in yet. It's not ticked off. But I think I do actually have concrete coming in. Uh, let's go this way. Actually I can just go and have a look at the actual building itself which is number 10 sorry no it's number 4 no it is number 10 looks like we do have concrete coming in it's like you, like you never left finally you're online again hooray and how is the speed of the internet as well I bet you spent so much you spent so much time just downloading everything, getting it all back to nice. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> so, when are you gonna do your first stream? Not that I'm pressuring or anything, I'm just curious. Oh, I need to put a little dot above that, say that it's done. So the, of this first 15, there are only the modular frames and the rotors and the Katiri Mingots left to do. Haven't checked yet, it literally just went live. Oh, literally now, huh, fair enough. I thought you were getting it installed yesterday. I know it's the ninth today, isn't it? Ah. Wait, hang on. I thought it was a Tuesday. So have they just installed it today? I thought you said you were getting it done on a Tuesday. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea anymore. Hmm. Anyway, um, Concrete is in. I am slightly stalling on the production of modular frames and rotors because I want to see if there is a better one from these two hard drives that I've got. Which arrived yesterday, went live today. Oh, okay. Also, they didn't come and install anything. It was all down to you. Got ya. Hang on. If there were four things missing on the train, what was the item that was missing then? Because the first four carriages are empty. Train position one, two are modular frames and rotors. Three is Kateria Mingus, so that makes sense. Four is copper wire. Maybe we're just not making enough of it. Bit rack checking speed, no worries. I'm gonna go and check the copper wire.
40 megabits by the looks of it, 15 upload. I mean, 15 upload is still more than I get. So... You never know. Give it a couple of days. It might improve because... Um, it's just turned on. So there's a pretty good chance that it'll... Um, It'll not be at its full speed just yet. A bit disappointing on the download, but you get 100% of the share there. Yeah. Yeah, try it again in like a week. You never know, it might have gone back up. But that, that upload is still pretty damn good. Discord is kicking off. I'm not surprised. Genuinely, I am not surprised. A lot has happened. Well, some has happened. Wow, there really is not much in the way of production for copper cable, but I mean, it is looking like it's making 60 a minute. I'm pretty good, thank you. Uh, a bit annoyed about yesterday's, oh well, and the ongoing Factorio problem. Uh, Servernetic being down, that is. By which I mean, we were going to be playing Pinadon yesterday, but because of one reason and another, one reason or another, aka the Servernetic server's been completely off, not even able to get to their website, um, we couldn't. Yeah, seven nautic. What the phone? Don't tell me. Have I hooked up the how the wiring for all of these? Uh, the the belting for all of these, rather. Oh my god, I have. I didn't realise I had. And what's really annoying about it as well is that I only just renewed it. <laughs> like a few days ago. Right, charcoal, ah, no. Coated iron plate, nah. Or steel rotor. Five a minute, but it takes Copper and steel. Go down there and get punchy. <laughs> so we already have two potential ones. One that needs steel and copper. I do, I'm going to take the rotor one, the steel rotor, over the other two, because the charcoal I'm not, I don't care about. Because um, that's not automated in any kind of shape or form. That one takes plastic anyway, and we, we have plenty of iron. But this one. This one gives us another potential option. So we're going to wait for that one. 
I'm feeling like the Actually, how hard is it to make the steel pipe? Because it's three steel ingots to make two steel pipe and that makes 20 per minute. Home. Do you know what? I think the steel pipe one's going to be a cheaper one because it takes less. Hello, Absolute Zero is zero K. It's the same ingredients as a state. Oh, does it? Oh, it does. Ah, yes, but I'm on about... This is for the construction of just the um, rotors by themselves. The 60 rotors per minute build which is better it just simplifies things yeah so out of these three recipes that I have for the rotors, I need to decide which one I'm going to use to make the 60 uh, rotors per minute. Just that the, the, the is in its own little build. Also, when using conjunction with iron wire, you can use up to 50% less iron. I don't think I've got the iron wire. Maybe I do. Hmm. I suppose it depends whether or not you want to use copper. I can also do Caterium. I don't currently use Caterium for anything. And that does give me a pretty decent return of 120 per minute. And all Caterium needs is Caterium ore. And one machine making. Caterium is indeed more rare. That is a good, that is a valid point. smudge or something on my glasses. See, that's the problem with having glasses is you get a smudge on it and it's all you can see. Without giving too much weight, it'll be more heavily used in the future. Yeah, it does feel like it's a bit more of a long-term thing, should we say. Like with the high speed connectors, for example. Well, <sighs> hmm. Oh, I do have an alternative. So that one uses less iron. But it takes up more room. Excuse me. Iron, probably. It's 
So yeah, I'll pro I'll go with the um, uh, where is it? This one. I'll go with this one using iron wire. I'll do this one, but use iron wire, and then to use steel pipes rather than steel to make screws. Because I think it's still cheaper to do it that way than it is to do it that way. Because that uses uh, one steel, which and one steel is four ingots. Whereas two steel beams, two steel pipes are three ingots. So that's cheaper overall. If I've got it correct. No worries, Matt Scratch. I just want that to be done. Um, right, so if I'm planning to go with that one, that means all the calculations I've already done so far are wrong. Because they are all based on going with... Yeah. They're all based on going with the steel, or the, the other steel one. So if we're going... It's time to do maths on stream. <laughs> so we want 60 rotors. Which is going to be... It's not going to be the, the same amount as it was before because we're getting a different amount per minute. Oh no, because I did modular. I was looking at modular frames before, wasn't I? That was the one that was five per minute. So yeah, it is 12, 12 assemblers. And to feed those 12 assemblers, We're going to need 120 steel pipes and 30 times 12. Three twelves, 40, uh, 36, 360 copper wire, 360 wire. So the 120 steel pipes is going to be the very best, like no one ever was. Where is my key to make the rest? Charging battery. So steel pipes is just 20 per minute. So we need six six uh, constructors. Six constructors, uh, which is going to be charge complete. Charge complete. Uh, then fed with thirty per minute. So six three sixes are one eighty. So one eighty steel uh, ingots. And then the 360 wires. It's 
is going to be well don't think 365 is like 22.5 but I could be wrong I'm wrong apparently 16 times Yep, it's 16. All right. <laughs> so that is 16. Constructors. Yeah. So that's going to be 16 constructors. with 16 times 12.5 it's 200 iron ingots but to make the steel ingots uh, we're going to use this recipe which is going to need a foundry Which is going to need 180 steel ingots. It's going to be 60, 120, 180, so three foundries for the steel ingots. Three foundries. which will then be 3 times 40, which is 120 iron ingots. Ingots. And 120 coal. Which will then be 320 iron ingots in total. Why do I need four foundries? I only need 100 and 180 steel ingots, which is three times 60. So it's 320 ingots per minute. Unless I've really got my maths wrong. It's 180 for the steel for the steel pipes. Oh, sorry, it's 180. Yeah, where's the steel? So the steel pipes take 30 to make 20 parts per minute. And to make 120, you need six constructors. Six times 30 is 180. Yeah, so 320. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> but at least we're checking. At least we're double checking. That's the main thing. Uh, so 320 iron ingots. See, it's not that easy to do maths on stream, is it? Uh, 320 iron ingots, which is. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have an alternative for iron ingots, really. Wow. Okay. Watch this be one that I actually. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> 
What did I say? <sighs> now then, I suppose what it really becomes a question of is, is it better to go for one of these high speed connector ones or is it better to go for the steel, which is a base product? Oh, it does need compacted coal. Uh. Hum. It's nice, but you'd have to make it which would be another step on site, which I'm not sure I want. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like the solid steel is much easier because you just, you just need regular coal and to smelt the iron before you use it. What even is this stuff? Silica. So it still uses the same amount of uh, circuitry. It uses a little bit less. No, it uses a little bit more. Oh no, no, sorry, it uses a lot less caterium uh, wire per thing doesn't use cable but it uses the silica which is quartz which isn't actually that tricky all I'd need to really do is set up a train or a really long belt or something yeah the, like the quick wire saving is quite a lot you're basically saving 52 quick wire per High speed connector. Which I feel like 50T quick wire. It's going to be like, it's, uh, I imagine it's going to be similar to um, copper wire in terms of the stacking and such and the quantities needed. Um, so, in the grand scheme of things, 52 possibly isn't the most amount, but. It also saves you on the copper because you don't then need to make the cable. What's the other oscillator one? Uh, that is AI. No, I prefer the standard recipe to that one. So really it's a toss up between these two. Silicon does require quartz, but that's fine, because I do know of, of, of an area that has two or three quartz patches, which are just not being used at the moment. And I have seen a couple dotted around as well. Um. It'd be nice to have all of the basic productions but at the same time I feel like I'm not going to use the compacted steel ingot because it requires sulfur and sulfur is a bit more of a ball ache to get because it's all the way over by the copper although then again the um, quartz is also all the way over by the copper yeah I'm tempted by the first as well just because of the caterium saving Well, the choice has been made. And it means that I don't have to redo this working out. Anyway, so 320 iron ingots means that it's 30 parts per minute and it's 30 
iron needed. It is useful for something else. Uh, there's always a chance I'll get that recipe again, I guess. So, in order to make 320... That's an awkward number. Why does it have to be that kind of an awkward number? Really. There's not like another way of making iron ingots, is there? That I have. No. 320. Why 320? Ah, oh, it's got 10 left over. But still, that makes it... 10 foundries with one... At an extra 20, an extra bit. Let's find out what we'd need it to be. So we need it to be up to 50, I think. Yeah, 50.1 50, 50 in order to get to the 320. Or we do it over two. Um, um, so we do two at 134. And that'll take us up to the 320 we need, if we have 10. Yeah. So 10 foundries with 2 at 134. Yeah, I know it takes less power. Oh, go on then. We'll just do 11 and make 120. So 11 smelters. Eleven smelters, which requires three twenty iron ore. Which means in order to make all of this stuff. No, that can't be right. Really? In order to make 60 rotors per minute, all I need is 320 iron ore and 120 coal per minute. Which seems ridiculously low. I mean, hell, I'm not going to complain, but I'm, I'm just not sure about my mathematics there. Oh, the other question I do have, is it possible for the um, lizard doggos to find hard drives? Well, it just seems odd. No, no. That's a shame. Well, wow. they all found ore this time. Yes, they can find power slugs. I have had them find me some power slugs already. It's the only reason I actually have the power shards. These power shards. Yeah, I was just wondering if they were able to find hard drives or not. But it's a shame that you that means that you can't get every alternate recipe in the game. Right, well, I guess let's get let's get thinking. So, in order to do this, I'm going to need 20 22 constructors. So 
So 22 constructors, 12 assemblers, uh, three foundries, and 11 smelters. As of now, there are more hard drives than there, than there are, uh, are alternates. Oh, really? Oh, I guess I've just been unlucky in not finding them then. <laughs> the map is big, though. That is true. <laughs> Right, so I need to grab more iron rods, more rotors, and more cable. And then... That is how... I'll do this. is I'll put all the necessary items in a box. Well, there aren't any rotors over here like I thought. Ah, but there's plenty in here. Okay. Now I do have the other half of that reinforced iron, uh, reinforced iron plate building that I can use. Which I am going to use because I think this is going to take up a little bit less room than the modular frames because I don't need reinforced iron plate for these. Whereas that one does, which means I'm going to need like 90 reinforced iron plates per minute just to build the modular frames. That's going to be hell, by the way, I should point out. Um. I've got the hiccups a little. One thing I have realised is that I'm going to need some of the f tier 4 belts potentially. Oh, and then heavy modular frames after that, that's true. Gonna be fun. So once you get sixty modular frames per minute, you'll just need you'll need to make five more factories just like it. Oh no. Right, what I want to do then is have that one in a standalone building. Potentially the same with the rotors actually. Wouldn't go amiss. Part of me is wondering, is it worth just setting up another, the other half of this building for reinforced iron plate and just building a new building for the, um, for the rotors? My headphones just turned off. Charging battery. Come on. 
just need to check my head, head, headphones are actually working because it hasn't done the thing of saying charging battery. Okay, it is charging. Charge complete. Oh no, I do want to leave the building. Too far. Shit. <laughs> right, from here, where is their iron? Dead ahead. So there's one iron node here that is impure. like there's another one here which is also impure Just means this general vicinity, doesn't it? There's a normal one. There's a copper. not somewhere you want to fall down. You can't get me in this tree. Um, there's a spot near the desert with three pure iron nodes and two pure copper nodes. There's normal coal nearby as well. That's very far away though. <laughs> That's very, very, very far away. <clears throat> Do you know what? I, don't, I don't actually think I'm fully using the iron nodes that I'm using. Now that I think about it. Just to make a good train stop. Oh, that's a fair point. Could have a few trains just going in a circle. I can't remember how much an impure gives actually in a Mark 1 miner. You're working your way there yourself. I mean, the pure nodes are tempting. I had never noticed that little sticky out bit there.
Considering how much more you get from the pure nodes with respect to normal or impure, you sort of don't really want to deal with anything less. I mean, that makes sense. This is impure. Impure. In fact, 150 iron ore per minute. 150 iron ore per minute. Twenty, what well, one fifty really? This must be part of an impure. Right, what I think I need to do is re sort this patch because I mean, look at the mishmash of. Belts. I need to get power slugs. I need to. I, I just need to max out these miners, really. Make sure they're connected perfectly. With proper ratios and such. Because, I mean, to be honest, even two impure things with power slugs nearly matches what I need. Sure, it's not as good as the pure nodes, but... Here's the but. It's close. Potentially be making going and getting plastic because I think the plastic is is working again. Let me just double check that quickly. The plastic and rubber should be working again. We're going to go and have a little bit of a train ride. <laughs> I'm not going to lie as well, there is part of me that was really, 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 really tempted to just play Darkest Dungeon again today. This game after a while. Well, it's not. It's not even that so much because if if I really wanted to, I could just um, like if I was really burning out from it, I could just. Um, you know, we're up to 142 hours in this. Um, I could just um, build a thing that allows just the trickling along of the items necessary for the space lift. Um, You know, uh, just make it, make it. <laughs> and then just be done with it. It's more that I really, I really enjoyed Darkest Dungeon. And I want to play more of it. That's more what it is. 
It's not that I burn out from this so much. What's the other thing? Fabric. Ah, we've got plenty of fabric at least. Thirty three coupons. Right, so this thing is kind of dribbling along. See you two are lacking from plastic lacking plastic. To be fair, that's because I've got one machine I, I only set up one machine kind of half arsely making it. Uh, and I, like from the plastic from the blue residue stuff. Uh, I've not set up my proper factory at all. <laughs> it is literally just one machine making fabric, ma one making plastic, and one making rubber. Um, at like, I don't know, 10 a minute or something. All you need is satisfactory. My word, could you imagine pyanodons in a satisfactory setting? I suppose you'd have plenty of space because you wouldn't have the biters, but the insanity that that would bring. Can you even imagine? I'm also going to guess Servanetic is still down. Whilst we're on this train ride, I might as well have a look. Oh yeah, look, it's still down. Let's have a look, see if it's had any posts on their Facebook or anything. Nope. They do not do social media well, do they? Or a stream by Coffee Stain Studios and they're officially working on a dedicated service for Satisfactory. Ooh, nice. It would be nice to like connect to a dedicated server like Canon kind of Factorio. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to leave this train running now. What was the other thing I was looking at? Uh, power slugs, that was it. He also promised a small fluid update in November. In what sense? Oh, as in we don't know. He's hoping for Pipe Mark 2. Ah uh, yeah, that would, that would be nice. Being able to squeeze more liquids through. Go and say hello to our lizard doggos, see if they've got any more goodies for us. Limestone. Mycelia. And sulfur. I was hoping for a power slug, guys. I'm a little disappointed. Slipperier pipes. I 
I'm not gonna lie, there is a little part of me that is still tempted to uh, switch on over to Darkest Dungeon anyway, just because I really want to play it. But I'm not going to. <laughs> Logically, you can't really justify pipes with the same size pushing twice as much fluid. Um, well, then again, it depends on the pressure you apply to it. Because, like, if you just let it do it with gravitational pressure, for example, um, as in, like, mm, I don't know, actually. If it depends on the pressure, then the pipes don't make it back to you. Also, the square cube double the size should be four the volume. True. Or make it so you can actually put the bloody water extractors on a grid. That would be good. That would, that I would be happy if that was the only update they gave us on it. Like genuinely, I would be happy if that was the only update. Do you want? Yes, I'm going to switch to darkest dungeon. I'm just, I'm just more in the darkest dungeon mood, if I'm honest. <laughs> So, wouldn't need to be twice the size, but it would most certainly be a larger pipe. Yeah. Yeah, a larger pipe. Right, let's switch on over. True, viscosity of a fluid would indeed determine as well how fast you could push it through a pipe. Quite correct there. Right. Oh, the thing's dropping because of cloud sinking with satisfactory. There we go, that should sort itself out now. There is also eco at some point that I would want to play, but not today. No, well not now anyway. <laughs> 